Hi, welcome to this tutorial. I was uh, making a tutorial about desktop and variety and Dropbox and then it occurred to me maybe um, I should also make you a tutorial about Dropbox. So I have this uh, clean installed system here so there's no Dropbox on it. There is actually nothing on it. So no last pass, no bookmarks, nothing. So Arch, oops, that's the first thing you do. You want to install Dropbox. These are the three words you type in. Arch, Wiki, Dropbox. There's the official website. There is this website. Okay, let's go in. It's a file sharing system with GNU Linux client and so on. Simply drop files into your Dropbox folder and they'll get automatically synced to your centralized repository. So it's in the cloud, basically. And here's this little last, this, this very small word, but this is of course very big, but this in the middle in the text somewhere means that you can't pacman it. It's not possible to pacman it. So we're going to show you how to do it. Log in and create an account. You can do that. But um, just showing you how to install. And we are on XFCE as you can see. We can move here, XFCE. We can move around. We can put these things in the corner and half and at the bottom. So it's right. Neat. Uh, we're used to that. It uh, is possible to an open box, only you know, have to know the shortcuts, which is super, and then the numbers on your numeric path. <coughs> Sorry. So it says here, Dropbox can be installed. Okay, all you have to do is now type Packer Dropbox. That's one thing. There is this GNOME software, I'm going to try that now as well. Uh, it's just software in the menu, but it's actually a program called uh, GNOME software. That's why I say it with the name, the proper name. And let's see if it's included here as well. But like I've told you in other tutorials, and I'll keep saying it, you need to learn the terminal because once in phase two, you'll need it. So Dropbox, no application found. And there you are. So you de definitely need to, to figure out and to see, is it possible here? No. Okay, forget about it. Just type two words, Packer, Dropbox, enter. And then you have, you have a list of 40 elements, but there are sometimes about icons and about plasma dark icons. And you scroll all the way up, but mostly it's up here. And what it says that it's the AOR. This is not AOR, this is community. So it starts here at number four, and that's the one we need to have. Dropbox, a free service that lets you bring your photos, documents, and videos, etc. And these are add-ins for Nautilus, that's GNOME, Tunar, XFCE, uh, what else? Nemo, that's Cinnamon, Mint, Kaga is Mate. So there are things that you can add in into the Pantheon, into the file manager of your distro, of your desktop environment that you've chosen. But actually, I don't use it. Uh, it's uh, just a choice. It's anyway, it's always Fun in Linux, you choose whatever you want. No one is telling you what to do. Make up your damn mind. That's the sentence coming from a movie. And it's true. It's typically Linux. Make up your own mind. So we're installing, and as you can see, we're running first, we're downloading a tar GZ, which is a compressed file. It's uh, smaller, it's bundled and it could be called zip or it could be called rar or 7z or something like that. In Linux we're talking about tar and about tar gz and that's that's it, that's all it is. It's a compressed package and it's now extracted and it's going to be installed, removing stuff, purging, checking and it's building now according to an information file and it's compressing it in a package and then he asks, can I install it? Surely you say, install me this. And that's it. Dropbox has been installed. It's not that difficult, but you have to see it sometimes and you have to see someone do it and then say, okay, it's just that. They ask for a login. <coughs> okay, so unlock it with your normal login password. And there we are. We have here now, let's make it bigger. It's a new change. It you did not used to be like that. You could uh, go in here and uh, sign in and all that. So we're sent online. I probably maybe we can still do it here. 
but we're sent online you need to either create an account or sign in account and once you've passed this then it starts already syncing so then it's already in, in, in effect and I don't know if I have already something to show in here do I need to log in first I guess I do so as you can see there's no Dropbox here but on this level there will be a folder called Dropbox and everything you put in there is also in the cloud and that's what I want you to do with variety desktopper go to the website click on the cloud and it ends up on your Dropbox account and you can sync the favorite folders because when you set the things right you can say to variety dear variety this one needs to go into favorites and if you set the preferences here correct and you point to the Dropbox the favorites of it are in your Dropbox and it put it in there and it's back up it's online uh, whatever happens to your system you still have your all your wallpapers it's quite neat and uh, quite a neat uh, workflow and now I have already explained as well one of the cloud services this is Dropbox cheers